Okay, here we are at Highland Church of Christ in Abilene, Texas with one of our Accelerator students, Michael Stanford. And Michael called us and wanted to talk about kind of upgrading their broadcast room. And this is their broadcast room. They refer to this as the tape room because we have the tapes. We have some B-roll of this uh, for you to feast your eyes on the years of records and uh, keeping of sermons. So everybody's got their stash. Uh, it's just how you stash it. So uh, we came into this room and they run their security cameras in here. The whole purpose for Michael bringing us out to Abilene, Texas was to simplify the user experience for the volunteers on a Sunday morning, not only for running screens in person, but also running screens for the broadcast and making a good live stream experience for people watching online. So the goal was to simplify the connections and to get their video feeds to all the different destinations, both online, in their building. They've got a lot of different TVs and destinations throughout their building. So we wanted to make sure we had um, ample amount of outputs to distribute to all the different destinations throughout their building. We ended up recommending one of our favorite switchers for churches, the Blackmagic ATEM 2ME switcher that kind of does two jobs in one. It is both a video switcher for cutting broadcast and in person with two MEs, but it also is a video hub. So you have a lot of outputs that you can send uh, to different destinations in your church. So uh, we got the two ME switcher and we converted uh, all of their signal that used to be running through a HT base T conversion for HDMI to Cat5 with a couple of SDI splitters in there. They were running two uh, Blackmagic ATEM television studio switchers to uh, cut in-person screens and broadcast at the same time. And so uh, we simplified down to one unit, which is really great. And we converted all their cable to SDI. So we really simplified the types of cable and what you have to manage when it comes to your signal flow. Everything is now SDI coming into the ATEM 2ME constellation and going out of the ATEM constellation. So really simplifies things for troubleshooting. Everything is labeled on the back and uh, really makes it an easy experience. So in this room, we deployed their old CG computer, which was running ProPresenter that used to be up here in the crow's nest. And we'll, we'll show you some video footage of what the crow's nest looks like. So a volunteer used to have to come in go up the submarine ladder and run lyrics from upstairs, which is a great view of the sanctuary, but is just not very efficient for communication. And uh, it just is a, a removed position from the rest of the team. So we actually moved CG down to front of house so that it's uh, next to kind of the main tech team and they're able to communicate really easily um, and they're not by themselves. So this is their old CG computer. It's just a nice iMac, little i5 processor in there doing great things. And we're putting the Blackmagic software control app on there and we're running it through the companion app on the stream deck. So the volunteers obviously could run the software, but who doesn't like a little tactile control? So we've got basically your program and your preview here on the ATEM, and it makes it really easy for a volunteer to just reach up, trigger what they need to see. They've got a full view of ProPresenter 7 from the CG position if they wanna show a video or if they need to show kind of like a full screen graphic, but then they've got their three cameras, their key, and then their mix uh, in the stream deck. So they can easily cut between angles, do mix effects, that kind of thing. So really simple setup. I mean, it's just a, Hardware switcher that's rack mounted, run into the computer and running the companion app on the Stream Deck uh, software on the iMac. So really fun and very, very customizable. You can see they've got some buttons left that they can program some additional things that they want to, um, other kind of controls or uh, other effects from the ATEM software as well. We rack mounted all the stuff down here and brought it from the crow's nest upstairs down to the desk so that it has easy access. If you do need to see anything, you've got this nice little display on the front of the constellation that the volunteers can look at and make sure that they're monitoring things okay. And we just repurposed the rack. So we didn't need to buy any new equipment there. We just put in the new switcher and a power strip and we're good to go. This second iMac is what they used to be monitoring broadcast on through Wirecast. And so this will kind of become their 
broadcast monitoring station where they check in on Facebook or YouTube and engage with comments. Maybe they pull up another website for sermon notes, that kind of thing. It's just kind of an auxiliary machine at this point, um, and it will serve them for basically whatever they need to do. It's an older iMac, but still runs fairly well and uh, can tackle kind of some basic tasks uh, on a Sunday morning. Here we are at front of house, and here are their two cameras at front of house. One is a tight shot for the follow cam. One is a wide shot for a uh, wide shot of the room. And here is their new CG position running Pro Presenter for in-person lyrics broadcast. Uh, They're running a uh, purchased off of eBay Mac Mini and it's running great. We're really happy with the deal that Michael found on this guy and a basic LG monitor running the Decklink Duo through an expansion chassis. And again, they're running the Stream Deck. So their ME1 is actually gonna be the screens for in the room. So this Stream Deck actually controls what everybody sees in person. So right now we've got it set to camera one as on the screens. And you can see in the room, it's showing camera one on their projectors, on their TVs on the wall. So everybody's getting that kind of an iMag feel in the room for people who are sitting in the back or who are hard of sight uh, can actually see the pastor uh, and anything happening on stage because we've got the ability to switch these screens around right from the comfort of a stream deck. This will be really easy for volunteers or people who are coming in running external events as well to get their desired inputs up onto the screen with a simple click of a button. They won't necessarily have to know all of the ins and outs of the Blackmagic control software they'll just walk up to the stream deck click what they want to see on the screens and make sure that it's red on the button and they'll be off to the races so really simple easy user interface for people coming into the room to use for events hey another big thanks to michael for having us out to help him with his broadcast upgrade here in abilene texas we're really stoked at the simplicity and the cleanliness of this upgrade it really simplifies things for his volunteers i know they're going to love it and if you're looking to do an upgrade whether it's big or small at your church or whether you're looking to optimize the current gear that you have go ahead and head to churchfront.com to schedule a free call with one of our coaches today to talk about what it looks like to bring us on site to help you in your ministry. And don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos coming your way of more of these on-site trips where we head to churches and help out people just like you. See you next time.